I'm just starting this week running around the fabric shop to get some more um, padding for the coats or the jackets that I'm working on. So we're just gonna do that and then we're back in the studio for the day. So I'm back in the studio. I just went around to try and get some more um, padding, but the fabric shop doesn't have any at the moment. So I'm gonna have to come up with another solution, but this is what I'm working on. I think I might've filmed a little bit already, but I'm making a coat as part of my summer collection. Um, so we're just in initial stages. I've just kind of tacked it together to make sure I'm happy with the pattern cut. I'm gonna change the collar part to a more rounded collar. And then I think I'm gonna put buttons down. Um, that's the plan anyway. But right now I'm trying to get the sleeves finished. I've cut out the sleeves and I made them. So I've cut out the sleeves and they're kind of like ready to go, but I am now just pattern. So I don't have like full pieces of wadding. So um, I am kind of just sandwiching them together. See, so yeah, I've like stitched some pieces together and then we'll fix the sleeves. So that is the plan for the moment. So nothing overly exciting. This is how the jacket's looking like on. I had initially made it this length and I was like, no, I need a, I'd like a long one and add a little grungy element with all this lovely kind of checker fabric. I have um, all of these check fabrics that I got maybe two or three years ago. And um, someone was like, doing a big clear out of their collection of all fabrics. And these, I think they must've been samples cause they're only like, they're all quite strange sizes and um, they're quite like long pieces of fabric. So I've been kind of using these throughout collections. Um, but yeah, that's what I've used. Okay, so I'm gonna get on with the sleeve and we'll catch back up in a minute. later now and I thought I'd show you how far I've gotten. So I have lined all of the jacket. I've added like nice seams on the inside there. And um, so that's kind of how far I've gotten. Oh yeah, I've also added pockets here. And each pocket's kind of padded and um, has extra detail there. Um, and then I've made each of the sleeves and I've lined them. So my next task is I'm going to insert the sleeves into the jacket. So I'm doing it like this so that the blue side will go on there and then the other side, this side, the yellowy side, go on there. So that's the plan now. I'm going to attach the sleeves and I'll come back to you in a sec. Okay, I'm back in the studio and I thought I'd show you the coat. I can't remember where we left off yesterday, but it's nearly finished. <laughs> um, we've still got all of the uh, end edging to finish. The color is separate, so I'm gonna have to finish the edge here. And then we've got to add buttons and then I will need to put in buttonholes, but I need my domestic machine to do that. But really love this. Sleeves are kind of done so that um they can be worn down. So they've got an edging like that. Or you can turn them up with the pink, which I quite like because then you've got the pink of the collar with the pink of the sleeve. So today I will be finishing the edging I won't be able to get the buttons done because I need my domestic machine and it's not in the studio at the moment for buttonholes. But I'm pretty happy with how this is looking. So, um, just sit down. So today I'm gonna to finish the edging on that jacket, but I can't do the buttons until I get my domestic machine back because um, that does the buttonhole stitch. I lent it to my mom. She's learning how to sew. Um, so when I get that back, I'll finish the buttonholes. 
Right now I'm going to just work on a cutout. I have enough of this, but I don't even have enough. I have this material that I've already made one bag and I'm gonna make it another one to match. Um, I don't have enough. I only have enough for the front and the back. And then I salvaged this beautiful ruffle off a, it was an old pillowcase. So I'm gonna do a huge ruffle along the side using this it's kind of like a cream color to match a cream print and then i'm using some spotted fabric which is really fun to match the or to create a bow tie with and i think i've been using a lot of like this kind of pattern pattern fabric in the new collection so that will tie in nicely um yeah so definitely jumping around a bit between pieces that i'm working on that's generally how I go anyway when I'm making a new collection and um, I don't know that I just jump around quite a bit so I'm going to get on with this today and we'll catch back up in a minute okay so it's a bit later and I've just gotten this far really love how ruffly the ruffle is so we're going to add the other side and then finish sorry there's lots of noisy sounds outside but I'll catch up in a minute. So cute. Okay, this is how far I've gotten today. I'm probably gonna leave. I'm probably gonna just leave it at that today because it is so lovely and sunny out. Such a contrast from yesterday and I'd, rather, I'd like to get home while it's still sunny. But yeah, really happy with this. I've made the handles and then I'm gonna use, where is it? And this fabric is gonna be the handle. So yeah pretty excited um so i suppose we'll just catch up tomorrow and finish this so it is the next day and i'm working still on this bag so far i got yesterday i think i showed you i really like long ruffle on this it's so nice and now i'm just finishing the handle and then we'll be finished. So I'll catch back up in a minute when I'm done. Finished. <laughs> Thursday today, um, thought I'd show you the finished jacket, so excited. All I need now is to do the buttons down the side, I need my domestic machine to do that, but I'll show you it on. This took like three days to make, which isn't great, but Hopefully I'll be able to speed up that process. So there we go. So happy with it, love it so much. Um, yeah, so I'll try and make a few more like this as well. 
And it's got the underarm check. Yeah. So that is the jacket. And today I'm working on getting some colors made. I've had the fabric cut out for so long. So I just need to actually make them. Um, so let me show you. Here are all the colors cut out. I've got some different size ones and they all have the screen print on. Um, see? So I've cut out the back fabric for them and now I'm gonna cut out ruffles and try and get as many done today as I can. And um, yeah, we'll see how we get on. So I'll catch you back up in a bit. <laughs> 